I don't know if you ever saw the episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch where she was making pizza on the conveyor belt, having a nightmare about it. I feel like I'm in that nightmare. Okay, this is quite quick. I'm Nikki Kelvin here in gorgeous Istanbul, and I'm gonna be discovering how Turkish Airlines makes some of the most incredible meals in the sky. But that starts here on the ground. So I'm gonna be exploring Istanbul, where Asia meets Europe on the Straits of the Bosphorus then taking things to the factories where the food is made and on into the sky, but I'm not gonna be alone. I'm with two of Turkish Airlines' very famous flying chefs, Eren and Berk. These guys are gonna be taking me around the city and I'm gonna be flying with them to sample some of the best food in the sky. At the crossroads of the Middle East, Asia, Africa and Europe, Turkish cuisine borrows from thousands of years of its neighbouring country's culinary traditions. So to get to the bottom of the fundamentals of Turkish food, Berk and Iran brought me to a spice bazaar. So this is where it's kind of looking exotic. There's a lot of spices here. So what are the spices that make up Turkish food? Uh, actually, uh, there are four spices that really are the basis of Turkish cuisine. So we have cumin, sumac, uh, thyme and pepper flakes. We mostly use all four in different recipes. And that is thyme, we love it. We like thyme a lot. Okay, so we're gonna get this on board? Of course. We have a mixture of thyme and red pepper flakes, which you can enjoy with bread. I look forward to trying it. Right now, we are on the European side of Istanbul and about to get a ferry over to the Asian side for what I'm told is going to be a very delicious lunch. We've just left the European continent. We're on the boat and we'll soon be reaching Asia. Apparently, it's tradition to throw some simit, which is like a bagel kind of thing, to the birds, which are apparently going to eat it. I'm kind of terrified. Let's see what happens. I feel like they missed that. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. It's actually very satisfying when you take the whole. So we're over on the Asian side, walking through the beautiful neighborhood of Karakoy, through the market where they're selling absolutely everything. But we're heading to a very special place for lunch now. So we're here at Chia in the Kadokoi neighborhood, which is your neighborhood, right? Yeah, I was born in Kadokoi. We're going to get some of the most local, exquisite cuisine, um, but we need to go inside and order, right? Yeah, we, in traditional Turkish restaurants, we go into the window and then the foods are all over there. And then we choose anything we want and then they just bring it on the table. And we did just that. Our table quickly filled up with an assortment of stewed meats, churned grains, spiced vegetables, and everything in between. Safe to say, we put nearly all the flavor profiles from the Spice Bazaar to the test. Is that sumac on top? Uh, red the red pepper. stuff, the red pepper. Mmm, that's delicious. After lunch, we ventured over to the cooking and packing facilities where Turkish Airlines prepares their onboard dining experience in partnership with catering company Doe & Co. We have a little process to go through now. My feet are going to get cleaned, my hands are going to get cleaned. Right, hairnet on, glamorous. Next up, the feet. Thank you. Wow. It is all happening in here right now. Welcome to the kitchen. Today we will show you some Turkish traditional meal. Over here we have the Sivas Popolete. It's a local Sivas, which just came from the agency. So what's inside this? You've got you've got Sivas. We got the Sivas, we got the zucchini, carrot, lemon. So this is a little piece of butter on top. And yes. This, what does this melt and sink it, into it to make exactly. it exactly? So juicy you, you, you and can tasty. you can test a juicy test. The paper is a kind of cooking style. When you cooked, all fish juice, all vegetable juice will be inside, and it will be really delicious. This is honestly the bit I'm most excited about. We're going to do a barbecue. Yeah, this is turkey style kebab. 
which is the cook that in the charcoal. Normally we are not using the, like a flat grill because when you cook that in the flat grill, you cannot uh, take the charcoal testing, you cannot take the, our barbecue testing. Okay, so, so the only way to get a true kebab charcoal taste is to do it over charcoal. Exactly. Okay. Take right here. Should we put some of these onto the charcoal? Sure, would you like to try? Right? Is, is this beef, lamb, what is this? Uh, it's beef and lamb mixed. Together. Yeah, together. Well, Let's this go. This could all go wrong. Let's go. Like this? Yep. All right. Well, that's your fight. So hot. It's so hot, yeah. <laughs> this is really cool because I think most people think aeroplane food is just shoved in an oven on the plane no. and cooked. But here you've gone the extra mile, charcoal, look at the smoke coming off it, and that's how you get these really amazing tastes. As you see, all, all our meal is making traditional way and like a homemade. So in the aircraft, you can see the correct and the standard test. Amazing. Yeah, do I want to taste it? Of course I do. Mmm, fantastic. Juicy, charcoaly. I'm actually just going to have the rest of it. Mmm, one one. Ah, thank you. All for me. Right. Now's the crowning. This is the most important part. Perfect. Love that. Let's go. So an aviation geek through and through, things like this really excite me. These are the oven boxes that they cook the food in on the aircraft. I have been known to purchase things like this and have them at home, so Turkish better watch out because one of these might be coming home with me to my kitchen. Here's our cold kitchen. The meal is making final touch here and preparing and plating for aircraft before loading. This is insane. This seems bigger, more impressive, more serious. And this stuff is going on the aircraft pretty soon. So this is business class starters? Yes. Okay. Right here we have the Turkish meze, which is prepared by hand. When they finish the plating, they put it to the trays and they are sending to the loading areas. So it looks like this is the last part of the COVID restrictions that are still here, that it's made up on the plate with a cover on it. Um, so it's not served, like it's made here, prepared one by one, by hand, um, and then covered up and served on board. Exactly. Uh, before the pandemic, we have the casserole service. Now due to COVID-19, we are taking more about our food and hygiene. To me, it seems like the best of both worlds. So you've got the hand prepared food, lovely plating, and then covered for safety in the exactly, circle. Exactly. Here's our sandwich preparation area. We are preparing sandwich here for the domestic flights. Maybe we can work together to help the chefs. Let's do it. There's nothing more intense than the conveyor belt. Multiple people doing lots of stuff. My job is two slices of cheese on each sandwich. Got it here. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Although, have they made it faster? They just made it faster because now I'm panicking. Domestic sandwich work is done. Now we will continue with the international business class tray setup. So here is the, the final touch before we load the aircraft. We are preparing our tray, international business class tray setup over here. As you see, according to the, we have the specification, uh, everything must be same. And then this meal going directly to the aircraft from here. Okay, so these are the shorter haul international business class meals. Yep. And we're going to load these into the trolley. So we do a little fold, corners up. Left and right. Like this. Exactly. Is this good? Perfect. Okay, and then this go on. Oh my God. Okay, so there's a tag on here. I'm going to load this in and it says TK734 IST to MLE. Now I know my airport codes and this is going to the Maldives. Yes. So some passengers today are going to be sitting on the seat, flying to paradise, eating what looks like a gorgeous chicken salad. And there's 14 total. Yes. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And this is the last tray. 14 makes a full trolley. Time to shut this off. And we're off to the Maldives. So right now, literally, this vehicle here is the thing that we're going to load up and then that goes right to the door of the plane and all of these trolleys are going to go off onto the plane and off to their destination. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. This trolley is ready to load, man. You there, up here. Perfect. Secure the trolley. Brakes on. That's great. Let's go. 
I guess the last stage here is to seal up the truck and send it off to the plane. Today is flight day. We're in the Turkish Airlines lounge now. We're going to be flying to JFK and we're going to be putting everything to the test that we've learned so far. We're going with our two flying chefs, but right now we're in the lounge and I'm going to check out some of the food in here. Here at Istanbul Airport, the Turkish Airlines Business Class Lounge is on an open air level overlooking the main part of the terminal. The lounge itself has an area of 60,000 square feet where food, comfort and entertainment await. Iran brought me into one of the lounge kitchens where I was given a plating lesson. Over here, as you see, we have the tomato, pepper, some rice, turkey style kofte, and a chicken. Here you are. This is like real people now getting served food. They don't, they don't want me to do this. I wouldn't want me to do this. Now it's time to your plating. Okay. Tomato. Yep. Pepper. Maybe some rice. Triple kofta. One, two, three, and a chicken. Voila. No customers, but we'll leave it here. I'm sure someone will take it. Bon appetit. This is super exciting. We've been allowed to board early so that we can spend some time with the flying chefs as they prepare the galley. Every Avgeek's dream to get on board a plane while it's still empty. Let's get on board. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, we'll take, we'll have one of these. Thank you very much. Hygiene kit. Hi, Nikki. Here's our chef call. So what do we have right here? It's basically, here's my kitchen in 32,000 feet. Wow. I got the ovens, units in all equipments, in totally the chill position. I got my food, which is so I'm going to after takeoff. So now we will continue with the loading check. And let me show you. Oh, here's my food is ready. So does this all need cooking? This needs to go in the ovens now. Exactly. Um, I'm going to check the ovens too. These ovens are empty, which yeah. is I'm going to load it when I heat up the meals. Okay. Um, here's my soup. It's already loaded, which is so delicious one. I'm going to prepare the side sets for the service. Okay. Right here, we got the spicy. Oh, spice. we've got as, the spices. As, as we see in spice market. This is what we saw in the spice market. Exactly. Thyme and red pepper. Amazing. May I offer you some Turkish mezes or seafood platter? I'm going to do the Turkish meze. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Ta-da! I can Thank take it you. Back. We have the white eggplant salad, Turkish style kisser. We have the hummus, which we are serving top of the grilled zucchini and dolma. Also, may I offer you some soup as well? I'd love some soup. Sure. So hot and tasty. Wow. So yummy. I need to take a picture. It looks so good, I need to take a picture. Okay, so we've got creamy red pepper soup and the Turkish meze platter that I'm just not going to mess around. I'm just going to dig straight in. I've got to try this. Mm. And this is just the first course. There's lots more to come. And the final touch, of course, cheese. Parmesan bay. Yep. Buyurun, ready? Balık isteyen var mıydı? So what do we have here? As you see, now we are in the rush hour, which is we are making the plating with my colleague chefs. Today's flight, we have too many fish order. Okay, so they've got lots of sea bass. Trying to not be in the way here, but there's a uh, very quick work happening from Iran here. Okay. So it's incredibly busy in the kitchen right here. The orders are right behind me. It's amazing how the chefs are preparing the food with extra tea, so they look wonderful. And then the cabin crew are poised and ready to take this out to the passengers. So not only is the service quick and efficient, it looks like you also have an actual trained chef making it look beautiful. There he is again with Parmesan Bay. There you go. Off it goes. There's 49 passengers in business class. I think I'm going to get out of your way and let you feed all of them. And I want feeding too. I'm ordering your fish right now. Thank you.
as the sun sets outside, main course is served, and this is one that looks very familiar. I've got a lovely fish knife here, actually, didn't know that was coming. But this is the sea bass that we plated up in the Doe Co facility in the paper bags. And opening this up now to reveal the fish and vegetables, I'm gonna give this a try. I've been waiting to try this since I saw it on the ground and they were wrapping these up. It's soft and tender, cooked beautifully. The way they bag it up definitely keeps all the juices and moisture in. This is a really great main course to have on a plane. So I've had Turkish coffee on the ground. I've got to try Turkish coffee in the sky on Turkish Airlines, don't I? Um, and to go with these desserts, it's going to be... So the final part of the experience, as we've gone from ground to sky, is drinking a Turkish coffee with Turkish delight at 32,000 feet. I think this is going to be good. What a way to finish. Thank you so much. So that's it, we've arrived in New York and we've been on a real culinary journey from the streets of Istanbul and the Spice Bazaar to the factories where Donko make the food and onto the aircraft with the flying chefs, seeing how Turkish Airlines has brought Turkish food to life in the sky. This was quite a ride and I'm glad you came along for it. So until next time, I'm off to explore New York.